Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to cover various techniques how to spot a fake card in Magic the Gathering. Fakes nowadays have been extremely common, especially when you buy from someone that you don't trust. And there are various ways how you can check a card if it's fake or real. Let's begin with the most simple way how to check the light test. How the light test works, it's simple. Grab a mobile, put it on the flashlight and put the card on the flashlight. This is much better if you do it in a little bit of dark. As you can see, the card is visible and you can see the light passing through the card. If the light does not pass through the light, if the light does not pass through the card, that's a fake card. Also, you can see that there is an extremely distinguishing between the art and the flavor of the card and that's a good indication that this card is real. If this, your card, does not pass the light test, that's a fake. So, let's continue our test. Another way how to spot a fake card is the friction test. Grab another card and friction them. If the card does not make the same sound, that's a fake card. Another way how to spot a fake card is the water test. Take some water, take a drop of water, put it on your card. If the water does not slide down the card, that's a fake card. Magic the Gathering real card, water stays on the card and the card is intact. That's a good way how to spot a fake card. If the card, if the colors, when you put some water on the card, get mushy, that's a fake card. Another test is the bend test. Take the card and bend it until both ends touch. A real Magic the Gathering card should bend and does not intact the card. As you see, the card is intact. If you bend the card and you find something like this, that's a fake. That's a fake. You can say there's the marks, that's a fake. So you bend the card. If it stays intact and goes back to the origin form, that's a real card. If it's developed, as you can see, a mark, that's a fake card. Another way how to test for fake or real is the rip test. Obviously, this you do it as the last resort, but if you rip a Magic the Gathering card, as you can see, there is a blue paper between the two sides, the back and the front. If you have this blue paper, that's a real card. If you have no blue paper or black or any other color, that's a fake card. So, the other way how to test if it's a real or fake and that is to compare the two cards, your card, with a previous or the same set card. Let's say I have bought a Numezawa Jetty and I want to check if it's real or fake. 
another way how to do it is you get a card of the same set in this case a gorge of engines this card I know that is real because I found it in a booster box and you just compare them if the cards fit exactly under each other that is probably real as you can see there is no difference between the two cards if you still doubt about the authenticity of your card the best way to do it is you buy a Julius loop and check two particular things one very important thing is the set symbol if the set symbol is clearly printed that's real we can see this stomping ground the symbol is excellently defined and that's real the other thing to check with your jewelry loop is the the pattern printing so if you take the jewelry loop and check the printing you can see there is the dotted pattern printing if you see that your card contains this pattern that is real if it has a plain printing that's a fake I recommend you to buy a jewelry's loop they are not very pricey three dollars you can buy it on ebay and it helps you a lot identifying fake and real modern cards this is a modern card Nicole Bolas got Ferro how you, how you identify if it's a fake or real one very important feature is the planeswalker symbol at the bottom of your card you have to check very carefully the symbol if it, ha if it contains the planeswalker symbol that is real also you can still check the logo the expansion set and the dotted pattern of your card I hope this video is makes much clear how you can test your cards. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more interesting video. And remember, if you have any doubts that about your card and the best way to do is to check it by a professional grader. Thank you very much for, for your view.